Hello everybody. Uh, today is the fourth video of the series and I'm making this because uh, technically all the technical and the electrical part of the project has been done. Only a few cosmetic stuff is left where creating the buttons and putting them in the proper uh, box and other stuff but otherwise all the technical part where um, making the switches and all the wiring related stuff are done and also integrated with the uh, Arduino microprocessor uh, module so I will walk you through a bit from where I left last time so this time I try to make it a little shorter compared to last so I have to do a bit of rewiring uh, post my uh, last uh, video where I did mention I had to uh, improvise the way I've been wearing the uh, connectors or the wiring for the uh, row and columns and other uh, switches uh, just to make ease on uh, on the circuit board so that I don't have too many overlapping wires so based on that I made few changes the order of rows and uh, which uh, row connects to which buttons so there was, has been a few changes over here all this were under one series of uh, row which I break into two uh, this is all to accommodate the changes which I made on the fly while I was working on the project so yeah things keep changing apart from this uh, and obviously I did the reverse of this and then uh, um, yeah, yes, uh, let me get here. yeah so this was the top of the board but I had to for wiring purpose I had to go underneath so behind mirroring like a flip image of the uh, panel and then uh, this is how I do all, did all my wiring I wrote them out on a technically print them out and then uh, started wearing one by one C0 technically all the row first then all the columns and from each columns to a breakout board so this is uh, yeah now uh, back to the panel so where we have um okay let me walk you through a few of the photograph i took while the finalization of the prototype was in or the controller was in progress so this is where i started uh, wiring the rows and columns to the breakouts you can mention see it over here then here it's a different angle so it's quite messy but I try to minimize the amount of mess by uh, connecting series of uh, rows or columns of the same number together and here comes the uh, PCB the final with all the uh, input leads connected all the plugs connected yeah another closer view and obviously I did uh, pour hot glue over this section uh, so that uh, this connection doesn't snap out accidentally and this is a another photograph where I started test, uh, integrating all the parent and the child panels along with the Arduino uh, Pro Micro uh, so this is how uh, and also I had to work a bit on the software part also so before uh, yeah I'll just uh, walk you through a small uh, demo video of uh, it being the intensity being controlled by one of the knobs so here is the demo video um, yeah. so you can see the intensity the brightness can be controlled by the uh, one of the rotary encoder which will be on the bottom right side which is unused in the game so that I'm planning to control the uh, panels intensity and this panel is powered by external lipo battery okay moving on to the next yeah so another few things I realized while working on this project was uh, by default when I compile the joystick through Arduino ID uh, it turns out it creates a pro micro or Arduino micro 
um, controller as a controller ID for Windows to uh, detect or use as a HID device. Uh, so I had to change the name. So to do that, I found I just kind of went around online and few, found few solutions. So I'll show you what actually happens. So this is the Arduino code you see on the left hand side. So in the Arduino code, you can see, uh, yeah, obviously I have a 32 buttons uh, emulation. It's going to do a 32 button joystick with four, uh, uh, four uh, with this, um, yeah, 32 button joystick. Uh, and then uh, obviously we declare, uh, this is for the uh, keypads, the array, the array for the uh, row and columns uh, assignment. And then these are the this, defining the number of the pin to be used for the rows and the pin to be used for the columns. And here we declare the joystick where it says uh, uh, joystick type joystick and then num buttons 32, num hats 0, and then all these are for the uh, uh, which axis to use. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So I'm using first, second, third. I'm using which is the Z axis. Then uh, uh, fourth and fifth axis I'm using. I'll show you once I open the properties. So this is all good, uh, but the, and then the uh, best other stuff are pretty basic. Uh, nothing much to do. And then coming over to the other one, which is the uh, where I had to f modify a few things. Or add few things to make sure I get a custom name for the controller in uh, Windows game properties or even the game when it detects you can uh, uh, easily identify your controller so for that uh, uh, we have to see in the Explorer if you see uh, we have to go to the um, oh no not this one I guess mm, this one is not this one let me take you where it is okay it's supposed to be in your in your apps Arduino ID Arduino and it has to be inside uh, I believe uh, hardware Arduino AVR inside there there's something called board I made a copy called board original so in this one um, Open with yeah. So in this one, if you see uh, in the bottom right, I have opened it here. Uh, yeah. So it, it is the uh, uh, you can see the uh, I created something. I made a copy of actually something called Arduino Micro, which was the one I was using earlier. I made a copy of this entire block and then changed it to FC 16 ICP panel and also changed the object types to F16 ICP and finally uh, here also I had to give the USB product name and one more thing important thing I had to do was change this uh, number the PID to some random number so I just guess 9901 would be something unused so next time if I have another uh, controller for so some other panel or some other rig or some other input device using a pro micro I'll make another copy of this change the name change the object name and then uh, change all this uh, object name and then I'll be giving it some other number maybe 9902345 so hoping that it doesn't conflict with any, any of other uh, product ID so it's simple as that and then you compile and uh, in the Arduino ID if you go uh, you go to tools you go to your uh, board and then once you save that file you'll see a entry here so you select it and then uh, communication uh, port and all will be fine right now it's uh, yeah and then uh, after that uh, yeah pretty much uh, uh, that's the part you do from the Arduino ID you compile and now I'll try to show you uh, what happens in the desktop so now if you should do game controller 
set up USB cam controller uh, here you can see sn 3 sf 16 ICP panel this is the one I made custom we custom named the device and the properties if you see it has got two axes X and Y and the two of the uh, rotation, rotation axes so, and all this can be controlled by uh, the potentiometer you can see I can increase decrease so it all works and all the buttons are also working you can see right? and a few of the toggles is working so this is all good uh, now coming over yeah so now yeah so now I'll uh, so demo a bit with the game where it's supposed to be working so here in the okay now before I switch to game I think I should uh, switch my camera to um, game mode so, uh, just hold a moment while I uh, reposition the camera so that I can uh, show you guys uh, how it's supposed to look like so yeah and now the only thing left is um, uh, technically the uh, uh, making the buttons and the other stuff so while that's happening, uh, let me put the camera in position so that I can uh, demonstrate it better. Yeah. So I guess uh, I have a good position now. So let me switch on the camera back. So I guess you guys can see this. Let me lift it up a bit. Yeah. So let me turn down the backlight. Yeah. So now this is a replica of um, the F16 panel you see here. So technically, uh, yeah, these are all the COM1, COM2, IF list, air to ground, air to sorry air to air air to ground and all the number one to nine zero enter recall so everything is working and um, yeah the i still haven't uh, completely designed it it's still in the uh, uh, breakout board so i have to put a stick on it and then obviously set it back in place uh, yeah so now this uh, knob you see here there's a knob over here so this knob controls the uh, hard brightness you can see there's a rotary dial which is now moving once I when I started rotating it and uh, yeah so it's uh, working here now if I want to access some uh, other knobs it also work now uh, the back end is controlled by one of the uh, knob bottom right knob which I haven't connected to the game yet but uh, it's connected with the uh, uh, USB controller and uh, it controls the intensity of the backlight and uh, yeah let me just demonstrate a few of the buttons let's say I want to change COM1 channel so let me unfreeze the game so I want to change uh, COM1 channel now you can see in DAD information is displayed I want channel 15 it's a channel 13 one three you can see channel three here and then enter here so now i am UFS, uf uhf channel 13 and uhf channel 15. now i want to change my steering point i want to go to some other waypoint so i can press here now it's two now it goes to three here you notice i can go four four five I can keep changing this stuff and I can also get a list for other functions say there's some li uh, list here still, uh, yeah 
so I get all the list of uh, uh, list of uh, options I can use so you can see bingo I want to try bingo okay bingo for the number two number two so you can set the bingo value to uh, now this is stretch pad you can see with the two stars asterisk so I can say I want bingo at uh, 750 yes, 7 5 0 0 is here 0 and enter so now the, I'll get an alarm at 750 balance and uh, yeah so basically the entire thing is working and like if I can do this again or I can say uh, I can use the joysticks so go back out and then I can go to list again list I can go to the next page if there's any yeah that thing is there then I can go to uh, any other mode I can try so miscellaneous is 0 so in this let's see if there is any other sub mode now. so yeah basically yeah, so the entire uh, inputs are working and uh, yeah it seems to be fine only cosmetic part is left where I have to uh, craft the uh, buttons out of acrylics and create a nice uh, casing for this and uh, all should be fine uh, let me pause the game and also try to uh, get back to regular camera in position so let's see if everything is back yeah yeah so <coughs> yeah so this was uh, technically uh, all I have uh, for now so I guess uh, you guys like the progress and the status of the project. Uh, this was supposed to be the last video, but obviously, technically the project is done from technical point of view. But on few cosmetic stuffs are left. So once I'm through with all the buttons, uh, like and painting of the panels and. Uh, uh, creating those buttons, uh, physical buttons, which right? so I can uh, place it in place and have the casting ready. Then, probably, uh, I'll make a very small video for that. And until then, thank you everybody for joining in. And uh, yeah, and uh, anyone has any suggestion and ideas, please uh, let me know. Thank you. Bye bye.